congratulations on reaching the end of the course. You've seen how the transactional outbox pattern can help you solve the dual rights problem, and how CockroachDB's change data capture can simplify your implementation, and you've had the opportunity to put it into practice in a set of microservices. So what's next? Now that you've learned the transactional outbox pattern, you might want to try it out in your own projects, either personal or professional. You can also continue your education on CockroachDB by having a look at some of our other courses. And if you haven't already done so, consider setting up a free CockroachDB serverless cluster so you can continue working with the database. And remember to stay in touch through our website, community Slack channel, and by following us on social media. Thank you for your interest in CockroachDB and event-driven architecture. We hope to see you again in some of our future courses.